In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to do complex data entry checks in Excel. And for this, we're going to use a feature that very few people know about, which is custom data validation. So let's go. Let's start with our first example, where I want to make sure that the user will input one letter followed by four numbers. So for example, A1234, press enter. Now to check this, you just select your cell or your cells. You have here data. Then under data, you have this data validation icon. Instead of any value, you have custom and you need to type a formula. This is what I'm going to show you in this tutorial, how to build the formula. So let's press on cancel and think about the formula as a set of rules. The first rule that we have is that we need five characters in this item, right? So to check this, there is a formula called len. Equal len, open parenthesis. The text is actually this cell close parenthesis, press enter. Here you have five characters, perfect. To check this out, you can just add an equal here and put five, you get true. So for example, if I add something at the end, you will get a false because now we have six characters. Perfect. Let's think about the second rule. The last four characters are a number. So to get the last four characters, you can use a formula called write. So write, open parenthesis, here you need your text, which is this, comma, number of characters, four. Close parenthesis, press enter, you get one, two, three, four, perfect. Now we need to check whether it's a number. So in Excel, there is a lot of formulas, it's like a notion. And one of those formulas that will check whether it's a number is called is number. So we just go here, equal is number, open parenthesis, and here you have the value, which is this one, two, three, four, close parenthesis. Now brace yourself for a surprise, because if I press enter, I get false. You're going to tell me, but we got one, two, three, four. How come? Well, let me show you something. If I just select my formula, I'm just going to take the right until this parenthesis. If I press F9, you will get one, two, three, four in double quotations which means no matter what you have inside, it's a text. So when you do is number, it will give you false because this is a text. How to fix it? Let's just press escape. Don't press enter, otherwise you will lose the formula. So if you press escape, you still have this right formula. We're going to use a formula that is not well known in Excel. It's called value. So I'm just going to do value open parenthesis. You need your text here, which is my right formula. And then I'm just going to close parenthesis, press enter. Now you get through, it works. Why? Well, let's just select it. We select the value with the right and then press F9. If you noticed, I don't have any more the double quotations. This is why it is now able to check whether it's a number or not. So press escape. This is our second rule. For the last rule, we need to check whether the first character is a letter. So let me take the exact same formula. Control C, escape. We go here and we paste it. So here, what we are doing is taking the last four characters and checking whether it's a number or not. What we want is the first character. So the opposite of right is left. We start from the left. Instead of taking four characters, we take one character. Let's just press enter and check it out. So if I select this, I press F9, you will see that this is the letter A. Let's press escape. Now you get false. Why? Because A is actually not a number. What I want is true if it's a letter, right? So what I can do is add here not. Not just takes the opposite of what you have. So here we had false. If we just add the parenthesis, we get true. As simple as this. Now we have all the rules. So I need to make sure that the first rule is true and the second one is true. And the third one is true. So I need to build a big AND formula. You can start copying those bits and pieces here, but there is a way that you can do this very fast. Let me show you the trick. You're going to love this one. So what I'm going to do is go to home, click on this arrow next to the clipboard and clear my clipboard. I'm going to go to my first formula, take everything except the equal, control C, escape. You can see it now on the left side. Let's do the same for the second one. Control C escape. That's the second one. And finally, we select the last one. Control C escape. Perfect. We have the three of them. We need to build our AND formula here. So equal 
and open parentheses. First logical test, this is my first formula. I click on it, I get it, comma. Then I click on the second one, I get it, comma, and on the third one. Let's close parentheses, press enter, and you get your true. This is amazing, right? Now we can close the clipboard and apply this overall rule on our item. So I'm just gonna select this cell, take everything, Control C, escape. Let's go select our cell, then we go to data. Here we have data validation, custom, and here I'm just gonna put the formula, press OK. So for example, if the last one is not a number, for example, we have a P, press enter, you get an error, why? Because the second rule is false and obviously the overall one is false. So let's press on cancel and go to the second one. For the second one, it's a bit more complicated. I want the first two characters to be IT, and the last four to be a number. So for example, you have IT, one, two, three, four. Let's start. For the first rule, we now need six characters. So I can just copy this, Control C, go here and paste it. Here you get false because we want to check for six. So I'm just gonna change it for six. And here you have the right cell reference, perfect, press enter, this is true. For the second one, it is the exact same rule. I want the last four characters to be a number. So I can just take this one, Control C, Control V. If you check, it is referring to the right cell, perfect. So for example, if I come here and change this character to something else, you get a false, that's good. Control Z. For the last one, I want the first two characters to be IT. So let's write a left formula, equal left, open parenthesis, this is my text, comma, two characters. Press enter, you get the first two characters equal double quotations it double quotations press enter this is true so for example if i have an a here it will give you a false now in order not to bore you i'm going to use the same clipboard trick to get all the rules in one place very quickly there you go you have them so now we can build our end formula and if you have, for example, an OR case, so I want rule 1 or rule 2 or rule 3, instead of AND, you can just use OR. It's the same concept. So this is OR. You can see it has also the logical operations. Now I'm just going to select the first one, comma, the second one, comma, the third one. You know the drill by now. Close parenthesis, press enter. We take everything, Control c escape. We select our cell. And here we go to data, data validation custom, formula, paste it, press OK. And now if you have something, for example, an additional T here, you get an error. Let's just close the clipboard and do the last one. The last one is the most challenging. I want to have any two letters and then four numbers. So for example, A, B, one, two, three, four. Let's think about it. For the first rule, we need six characters, right? So I can just copy this and paste it and it will refer to the right cell. Next, we need the last four characters to be a number. So again, we have the same rule. Control C, we paste it. Where it's a bit different is the last one. I want the first two characters to be any two letters. So for example, we can take what we had here. Here, what were we testing? We were testing if the first character is a letter, which is in this case A. Let's take this one, Control C, and paste it. The difference is I want to check the first two characters. So here I can just change this to two and I have the first two. I check it's true perfect. However, this is the problem. If you have a naughty user and he or she comes and type here a two, so now it's A2, press enter, boom, you get an explosion. It is still true. How come? Well, A2 is still not a number. So you have to take care of this case. How do we do this? We will take each character on its own as a rule. So first, we're going to check the first character on the left, which is the A. So I'm just going to put one here. It's the same as the rule that we had in the first example. It will be true. If we check this out, we select F9. This is A, perfect. Press Escape. Now we're going to take the same rule, Control c Escape. We go here and we paste it, press enter. Now here, I need to change this left. 
because I want to take the second character that we have here. For example, this character could be a B, right? There is a formula that is called mid. So it's not left, it's not right. I want something in the middle. Let's just change this to mid and see what we get. If you just click inside, you have the text, which is this cell, perfect. Then you have a start number and number of characters. So now you have three parameters in this formula instead of having two. So the start number is at which character from the left I am starting to take something from this text. For example, in this case, B is the second character we have in our text. So here, I'm just going to put two. Come on. Number of characters is how many characters I want to take. For example, if I put three, it will take three characters from the second one, which will be B, one, two, right? In my case, I want to take only one character, which is B. So I'm just going to put one. Let's press enter. If I just select this mid, you will see if I press F9, you will see I get only B, which is what I want to check. So let's press escape. And now we have all our rules. For example, if here you add something, this will be false. If you put instead of four, you put an R. The second one will be false and so on. So let's do Ctrl Z and just remove this five. We have everything correct. Again, I'm going to go very quick to get all the rules into one place. There we go, we have four rules now. Let's just put them with an AND formula and select the first one, comma, select the second one, comma, the third one, comma, and the last one, close parenthesis, press enter. You have a humongous rule now. All this, we can just take it, Control C, escape, go back to the beginning. This is where I'm testing. And here you just go to data, data validation, custom, paste it, press OK, and there you go.